Hi, planner friends. It's Marcia with Buy, Sell, Plan. Welcome back. Okay, in today's video, as you can see, I'm going to be doing a DIY. I want to attempt to make myself a pocket folder for my binder because this is my binder for January. Now, by the time I post this video, I may have already shared my flip through of this. So as I'm filming right now, it is December the 5th. So I have not revealed this binder yet. Um, but the idea is I want it to be all matchy matchy and I wanna have something pretty back here to host my stickers in because right now it's just a mess. They're all just shoved back here and so that the stickers don't necessarily match the binder, right? So I wanna have something that is matchy matchy. I got way too much stuff on my desk here. Um, so I figured these colors are so pretty and they match really well with this binder. And these are from, um, let me show you. I should have had that ready. Pretty sure it's this one, yeah. I got this from Michaels, oh, two, three years ago. So I have no idea if they still have it. I think it's this uh, Craftsmith brand. It was a hot buy. I got this whole thing for $12. Um, Acid-free paper. I, this is what it is. Marake. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But I just, I fell in love with the color palette. Um, I love these deep colors. And so these are 12 by 12 sheets. And I've used some of them to make dividers over the last few years. And for scrapbooking and things like that. So I thought, you know what? Let's make... Let's, let's try and make a, a uh, pocket folder. I've never made one before, and I didn't look it up on YouTube, but I figured it can't be that hard, right? <laughs> we shall see. So I wasn't going to film it. I was starting to measure and everything, and then I thought, you know what? Just in case, if it does turn out, I want to I wanna be able to share it with you guys. All right, so what I did was I... I measured the half, like the halfway mark here, which is like right to here. And then I did it again. To here, because I'm assuming that this was this wide and it was fold folded over and then this part was cut. And then it was, uh, I don't know how they adhered that but we're gonna figure it out together. So this should be interesting. Maybe I should um, draw the line all the way down so that I, have, I can cut it on a straight line. And, or maybe I should do the top first and then I can probably put it in my paper trimmer it's too big right now to go in my paper trimmer it will it won't fit oh, hopefully this is straight for those of you who are crafty you're probably just cringing right now <laughs> because if you you know do crafty things and DIY things a lot you have a lot more experience than I do so you probably know how to be how much more efficient but I love doing stuff like this. I just don't do it enough and I am definitely not a pro. But I do love working with my hands with when it comes to crafting. And um, I shouldn't know this is crafting. DIY. I call it DIY. I don't know that it's crafting necessarily, but I really do enjoy it. I love being creative. I just don't take the time to do it enough. Okay. So I think my line, my middle line was just a little bit off. So I'm gonna draw a big line. There we go. Alrighty, let's cut across and then I'll be able to fit it into my paper trimmer to do the end. Okay, 
what I'm attempting to do now is fold it in the middle to get an idea. That's gonna have to be good enough. And I won't be cutting holes in this because I won't be putting it, it's gonna sit in the back of my binder, so I'm not too concerned about that. So that should give me enough room because the idea is I have, so the stickers that I'm gonna be using a lot of next year are these Paper Panda and Papery Planning stickers. So I wanna make sure that I have enough room to fit in there because once I um, adhere, I'm gonna use my Tombow permanent adhesive. Once I secure that and at the bottom, I need to make sure that it is wide enough for these to fit through. And now they won't be in the plastic so that they, they won't be as thick. So that should work. And I'm just wondering, do I keep this and fold it over or do I, you know what I mean? Like, do I, here, let me try and fold. Oh gosh, I've watched like over the years, so many, so many of these um, like tutorials and people sharing how they do this stuff. And they have all the fancy equipment, like the scoring boards and the tools and all that. So this is freehand. Okay, let's see. Make sure I'm still straight. So far, so good. You know what I mean? So then if I taped this to this, then it, I have a little bit more room. I think that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, where's the Franklin Planner one? Oh, here it is. So the Franklin Planner ones have this diagonal, and I think I want mine to go straight across. I don't think I want the diagonal. I wish I had double-sided paper because I love I love this and when you look inside you can see it's one sheet that they used oh well okay now this is probably the t like my stickers probably won't be taller than this so probably because I do like to see them popping out a little bit so maybe down to here You guys hear the rain? We have freezing rain all day today and all night. So the um, the roads, sidewalks, windows on our car are already a sheet of ice. It's coming down pretty hard. Okay, let's grab one not in a package. So this is gonna be taped here. So it won't go deeper than this probably. You know what, there's this pretty seamless, I can't, well, how do they do that? Oh, well, okay. Because I do want it to, I do want it to pop. I do want it to pop out. Oh, I'm so in love with this binder. Can't even tell you. I was thinking like of having it this high and just cutting it down there because then when it's closed, I like that you can see that peeking out. I like that a lot. I like that a lot is what I'm thinking. But then I thought, what if I did it this way where the bottom, I don't have to tape the bottom. I just have to tape the side, but that won't peek out very much. Oh my gosh, you guys, why am I struggling with this? Because it'll go down pretty far, and so then it'll pop, it'll peek out a little, but not, it won't be the full height of the binder, and I kind of want it to be the full height. I think that that looks good. Or do I want it more like that? 
know what? Like I can do more than one. I don't have to settle for just one, right? So why don't I stick with my original plan? Let's do that. And now I have to decide where did I put my ruler? Oh, nope, that's next month's binder. Ah, grab my ruler, which is in this bind. Nope. I was helping my son. It's him and his girlfriend, his and his girlfriend's one year anniversary tomorrow. And so he's making her something and he asked if he could see all my scrapbook paper and so he picked out a bunch of sheets and I was helping him trim them and we're going to use my selfie printer he's got this whole thing planned he's such a such a romantic little lad he gets that from his dad um so I forgot where my ruler was all right so let's see use this as sort of a guide because I don't have any stickers that are going to be taller than this so I think that will be good yeah, we'll peek out a little bit if it's, let's do just to be safe. It's better to not trim enough than to trim too much. So let's see how this will look. I can't really use my paper trimmer because I'm not going all the way. So very tedious. I think I'm wearing my readers so I can actually see the line. Okay, there we go. I don't like how that's so stark. But I have an idea. Okay, so far so good. I'm thinking of putting this on the inside. I just love these. It's from the same book, so they, they're, they're supposed to complement each other. What do you guys think? What do you think? How would that look being on the inside? Well, you know what? I was thinking of adhering it down, or I'm thinking, I adhere, oh, I guess I have to take that off. I was thinking if I don't adhere it down, then I can always change out which one I have in the background. Why don't I do that for now? Okay, so now I am going to trim this little piece off. think so far guys and then that's gonna go down let me see how am I doing this yes because I'm not gonna adhere that part down so I'm gonna do that and then here so that this will stick to that part this is the plan let's see if this will actually work because this stuff it sticks pretty well like once you put your paper down if you needed to reposition it good luck I'm gonna use the end of my scissors to flatten this Hmm. 
Let me see if I can use my paper trimmer to trim off. I don't know if you can see that. It's like so tiny. Just a little piece. Oh, I don't want to get any part of that. so tedious. It's not perfectly straight, so that's a struggle. Maybe I'll bring this up. There is the braid. Yeah, that should do. Maybe I'm better to do it by hand. I don't know. Okay. See, it's just like so microscopic. It's like a millimeter. Okay, that will have to do. This. Isn't this beautiful? It's a little bit of overhang here. I'm not going to worry too much about it, I don't think, as I'm figuring out how to trim it. <laughs> oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, now. I incorporate this. Because it won't be the full length because, oh, maybe it will. Yes, it will. I'm proud of myself so far. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Okay. Where did I put that line? Did I put it on here? <laughs> I should be doing it this way. Oh man. Okay. Here. Oh. Silly me, I should be starting at the bottom so I don't have to measure so many spots go across you can see how this is not straight <laughs> but I don't know will you really notice it's my first one I'm not going to stress over it all right let's Just a little bit straighter. There we go. All right, you guys. Let's see. I knew it's going to be just a tad bit too wide. So that's okay. It's better to not have enough than too much. I guess I should see how much I'm off by. It's like so little. Do that. Hmm. What's happening? 
Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, it. I just realized I forgot I taped it down here, so it is too tall. down there. Hmm. All right, that one was better. I mean, you can see some white on the side. I, I don't know that I really... Oh, well, I guess I do care about that. What do you guys think? Do you like that? Is it too busy? love. I'm just all about these colors right now. And usually this time of year as we're heading into January, I'm into more blue and silver kind of colors because that reminds me of winter. But I think this this and the blush pink um, vintage auroras are my all-time faves. I love this. This is the purple plumera. Plumeria? Plumera? Um, vintage Aurora that just came out this fall and oh it is divine okay I like that I like that and then when this is closed you see a little bit of it peeking out okay it's kind of going to be hard to glue it down now so I don't think I will but I am going to have to trim this Let's see how I do. Because on the dark background, you really notice the white. Okay, not bad. That one was tough because it was thinner on the top than it was on the bottom. That's better. That is better. <clears throat> and if I want, I can I can flip it over so that all you see is this side when it's closed. But I can also have this way. You know, I could just tape down the top because that will be pretty secure. I can't see myself using a different color. I contemplated between this one and there's the same exact pattern as this one here, um, just with a lighter background. But yeah, this one here, but I thought, well, this has the light background, so I wanted something to really contrast it. So yeah, I, I like that. And then maybe I might make another one with this being the main pattern and um, yeah, with this being the main pattern like this and then have this pattern to be on the inside that could be cool but here's this and they have this dark one too and yeah it's beautiful it is a beautiful book I even like I think this pattern is called damask which is really um it's like an old pattern it's I think it's damask if it's not it is very close I even like the gold too with like the peachy border so many good ones and I really love this marble. I might do something with that too. All right, that's my DIY, you guys. I made my own 
pocket folder. Like I said, I'm not going to put holes in it to have it in my binder, at least not right now. I think I just want it to sit in the back pocket because I, that's typically where I, I keep my stickers is in the back. Um, I do like that I have room though. I can move this over if I did want to put the holes in there. I definitely have room if I want to store this in my binder. I mean, it could go in the back. That could look pretty, right? But, you know, I can start the year off light in terms of my binder. And then next thing you know, they don't sit flat when it's at the, um, when it's open like this because I have so much in it. So my, my intention as the year goes on is to always be, um, Doing my planner inventory to make sure that I'm not keeping unnecessary things in my binder. Only things that serve me well um, through my um, my work week, and you know, you guys know how it is, right? To make sure that I only have what I need in here. I like it. Let me know what you think. And then I'm thinking of doing something that sticks out of here too, because I only bring. I only have one pen in the pen loop. I never have one on the left side. So, cause I only use one pen and then I have my highlighters or anything extra I have in here. So I don't put anything in here. So I'm thinking of putting something in there to dress it up a little bit. So stay tuned for that and see if I do. And if I do what I do, all that good stuff. And I love how this pen matches this binder so beautifully. This I got from the Franklin Planner site. It's by, it's, it's by Cross, and it is the Botanicals um, ballpoint pen. It'd be nice if it was gold because the rings are gold, but that's all right. Gold and silver can live together. All right, that's my DIY. I like it. I like how that peeks out, and then my... The ruler will probably go in there as well. So then everything is just neat and pretty. And everything has a home. That's the goal. All right. Thank you for watching my DIY pocket. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.